got something special today. This is the Behringer Private Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon 2015. This is uh, a wine that is consistently one of the greats out of Napa Valley, year after year. And 2015, such, such a great vintage. And this wine was a, a huge success. Now, one of the reasons it's so consistently good is because Behringer has uh, such outstanding vineyard properties that they can source from. And so, you know, unlike uh, some single vineyard cabs, which may, you know, really excel and really show off their, their terroir at that particular spot, grapes here are sourced from several places around the valley. And all of those different lots are going to express something slightly different. So, for example, um, about 60% of the wine comes from the two vineyards in Howell Mountain. Um, lots of volcanic soil. And when you're on the east side of the valley, you get a lot of that late day sun. So you get real intense ripeness, lots of intense flavor, bold tannins. Then you've got some valley floor from their home ranch, their Chabot in uh, St. Helena. Those grapes are gonna be a little bit more subtle, a little more balanced, still gonna show all that richness. Um, the fog rolls into the valley in the morning and in the, in the nighttime and through the morning, and so cools those grapes down. So they, they slow down, retain a lot of good acidity, take on a lot of nuance. And then they have some grapes actually from the other side, uh, Mount Veter and Spring Mountain. And that's kind of uh, going to show you another side of Napa Valley. You've got, uh, again, mountain fruit, so for the most part you're above the fog line, so you're getting a lot of that sunshine. But the altitude is going to create that diurnal effect, cooling down those grapes at night letting them take on a lot of nuance, letting them retain acidity, and all of that balance comes together. So they take all these different lots and they ferment them separately, and then they age them separately in uh, French Nevers oak. They use about 85% new oak for 20 months, and then they do their magic. Then the winemaker does his magic, puts together the blend, um, and just really, you know, decides what's going to make this wine <laughs> really the most outstanding. Little of this, little of that. Uh, they even put in like uh, about 3% Cab Franc and about 1% Petit Verdot um, just because maybe it needed it. <laughs> big and big deep color on this wine, as you would expect. Uh, yeah, lots of aromas already coming out of the glass. So I'm getting those, those like baked cherry, and really nice sort of sp nice spice. Yeah, a little bit of exotic spice, Indian spice. Yeah, there's a little bit of toast under there. Mm, yeah, a little bit of like a smoky, toasty note, along with lots of cherry and lots of black cherry, black uh, currants. Maybe a little hint of uh, like licorice, like sort of a menthol-y licorice note. Mm. Let's try it. Huh. Wow. So, <laughs> this hits your palate. <clears throat> really bold flavors suddenly come across and it's like an explosion. Um, Lots of that black cherry, those black currants, but they're really nicely blended with these spicy notes, these woodsy notes. Sort of that uh, Indian spice, this toastiness, a little bit of that, that menthol. Really kind of opens up on the mid palate. 
tannins here are nice. They're very, very nicely polished. I mean, there's barely even kind of a grip to them, but it's, it's clear that there's a deep core to this wine. Real intensity. And uh, yeah, the flavors are playing out on the finish. Really long. So, you know, a wine like this, obviously, um, you taste it now, it's showing immediate appeal. Lots of complex flavors, lots of those nice bold fruit, but um, really what you're looking for is something that you're going to be able to put in your cellar for kind of long term, right? Um, what's this wine going to be like in eight years, 15 years, 20 years? Well, so that's one of the great things about a wine like this is it has such a track record. You know that this wine is going to age beautifully over a long period of time. And all that intensity and all that really nice core that this shows right now is also going to tell you all of that. Anyway, happy drinking. Mm -hmm.